every time I make a review of a Linux distribution, I always get some comments asking me if I've also tried this or that one. And for good reason. There are a lot of distributions that you can choose from. Some are tailored towards a certain use case, others try to improve the experience of an already solid baseline, and of course those who are mostly defined by their update cycles. But for some reason I never really cover them. And there are of course reasons for that, since the choice of a Linux distribution can have quite a massive impact on your desktop experience. Let's get into it. In late February this year, KD released their newest edition of their desktop environment Plasma. And boy, did it have a rough start at first. Or did it? Turns out that a lot of the initial Plasma 6 hiccups were actually caused by bugs in the distribution KD Neon, which already comes in several different flavors. One of those flavors is called the User Edition, which is supposed to be a stable release. However, it's for once based on a rather old release of Ubuntu, doesn't have many maintainers and serves more of a testing purpose, rather than a truly stable distribution. There are many who have installed KD Neon for Plasma 6, and it did cause a lot of bug reports that should have been reported to KD Neon as a distribution rather than Plasma. I always say that you should choose a distribution based on your desktop environment preference. Usually there is a high chance that you get Ubuntu, Fedora or OpenSUSE, and if you search for those distributions, you usually find a lot of information. Those are the distributions that I recommend for most, as they are the ones that are often being used by businesses as well, or at least by those who don't want to pay for a license. They are being tested, modified or polished so that they work better, or at least additional attempts are being made to get them to work. And don't get me wrong, those distros are not the best that they could be. If you are a gamer, then sure, you could use something like Chimera OS or Nobara, but you're giving up stability by design. But what even is stability? More crashes? No, not really. Stability means that there is less potential that your operating system crashes. The so-called stable or even extremely stable distros achieve this with slow update cycles, which improves the likelihood that someone discovers bugs that can't be fixed. But there are also other ways to be stable. On Linux servers, you typically don't install the desktop environment. Some may argue that you don't do it because of storage and processing requirements. And while that's true to a certain extent, it's also because of stability. More running processes automatically means a higher chance that one of them causes a problem. It simply increases the likelihood even if it doesn't crash ever. It's just that the probability is higher. I personally don't recommend distros that fit a certain theme, like gaming for example. Are there benefits? Yeah, of course! Nobara is great for installing drivers, notorious difficult programs and of course gaming in general. But if you run into an actual problem, then determining if it's Nobara, Fedora or a desktop environment issue becomes much harder. I just want to make sure that you know. If something promises only improvements, then why isn't the baseline already doing that? Well, mostly it's just a bit riskier or could cause some problems in edge cases. Who really knows? The point is, a Linux distribution can heavily influence your desktop experience and maybe even paint a wrong picture of a problem. In my last video, where as I compared GNOME 46 with KD Plasma 6 for my personal workflow, I explicitly stated that I waited for the Fedora 40 beta. And it was definitely worth the wait. My desktop environment has not caused any problems so far, which some even found unbelievable. Probably because they used a different distribution or have read about the reports. My KD Plasma experience when browsing for software was slightly different on Debian than it was on Fedora. Not a desktop environment problem, but the Linux environment itself. Fragmentation is the thing that still causes problems, but it's slowly getting better. Application support nowadays is great, and while not every application works without some adjustments, it's a lot better than just a few years ago. When you choose a distribution that is not as popular as others, has rolling and also very importantly recent updates, then you definitely want to do your research. I for once already knew why I would never install a KD Neon or GNOME Nightly build on my desktop, but I also know that an Obara might even work better, though it sacrifices some stability. Again, only the probability. 
For my personal rig, the trade-off of a slightly modified Linux distribution will not be worth the effort. But for your machine or use cases, it might be. I made this video to create some awareness that you shouldn't believe everything that is written online. If you encounter a problem, don't jump to conclusions because some stuff worked in the previous release. Always consider other factors as well and problems might get resolved much quicker. If you've liked this video, then please make sure to show it with a like and definitely make sure that you're also subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss out on any more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching. And all that's left to say now is good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are. I'll see you around.